David the Prophet. After the death of Yushe, the son of Nun, a great difference occurred among the Israelites, and they started an endless dispute and quarrel with one another. This was the beginning of their disobedience to God and the turning point for them to start committing sins. The enemies who were waiting for a proper time made the best of this opportunity and gradually captured some of the lands which were in Israelites possession and killed many of them. Israelites used to have a coffin which was granted a special quality by God. Whenever they were going to fight their enemy, they used to place it in front of their army to serve as a sort of consolation for their hearts and make them victorious. Due to the differences occurred among them, as well as the sins and oppressions which had become a common practice in their tribe, they gradually lost their power and glory, and thus the enemies could easily defeat them. In one of such wars, they finally lost that holy coffin. This caused them to lose their courage in fighting for victory. Once, some of the Israelites went to their prophets to find a way to restore their holy coffin. They told the prophet, Select a king for us, so that we can fight in the way of God. The prophet said, You may reject fighting and retreat when it is time for you to do that. Why should we refuse to fight in God's way now that we are far from our country and family? There came the time of war, but except for a few they turned away and ran from the battlefront. After that their prophet told them, God has appointed Saul to be your king. They replied, Why shall he be our king? while there are many better people among us who deserve more to be a king. Moreover, he has no great wealth. The prophets replied, Great God has selected him for you and granted him this superiority over the others because of his vast knowledge and physical power. Besides, God bestows the kingdom upon whoever he wishes, for he is the most wise. A good sign to prove that he is just qualified for this position is that he will find the coffin and restore the lost consolation for your hearts. He shall regain the coffin, which is a reminder of your ancestors, Moses and Aaron, and when he found it, the angels shall carry the coffin. Yes, this will be a true sign and an example for you if you are really faithful. Thus Saul soon became the king and the ruler of the tribe. When he decided to move his army ahead to fight the enemies, he said to them, God wishes to test you through a spring. Whoever drinks the water of this spring is not my follower, and those who refuse to drink its water shall remain among my followers and will be victorious. Of course, you may take a little bit of water with your hands. When they reached the spring, except for a few, they all drank the water of that spring. So on the day of war, those who had completely quenched themselves with the water said, Today we are not powerful and tolerant enough to fight with Gallius and his army, because the number of their soldiers are much more than us, and they are all well equipped. But the other pious and faithful men consoled them by saying, it has happened many times that small armies with a few men could defeat their enemies' huge armies through God's will, for God is the supporter of the patient and the faithful. Then they started praying to God and asked Him to grant them patience and stability to overcome the atheists.